Hi, welcome to this recording of SAP Data Warehouse Cloud focusing on the integration of the SAP Database Explorer with SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. The integration of the SAP Database Explorer is supporting the HANA SQL use case embedded with SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. I'm logged in into a Data Warehouse Cloud tenant where I navigate down to the space management where we do have the ability to configure the access to the Database Explorer. So let's drill down into the space management UI. And on the database access pattern, we'll drill down to the database user UI. Within the database user UI, we have a new look and feel focusing on the database user. But again, the database user is still assigned to a database schema, which we usually called an open SQL schema in the previous version of Database Cloud, now focusing on the database user. Once you create a database user, you can specify the different privileges like data ingestion, data consumption, and also HDI consumption. Where in this case of my database user SQL underscore DB Explorer, I want to focus on the data ingestion and data consumption part. Again, data ingestion is related to have the ability to create your own tables, your own procedures, which is relevant for the HANA SQL use case. Data consumption by itself provides the ability to get access to the Data Warehouse Cloud consumable models, which can be also enabled on the, on the space level by checking the default consumption of the space data. Again, for our DB Explorer user, like the using the according database schema, we have data ingestion and data consumption enabled. Now, let's use the embedded database explorer to operate and navigate on the according database schema. I click on the explorer and the according database explorer window is popping up. The according space gets assigned where once you log on the first time, you need to apply the according password, which is available from the space user UI information box. In my case, the database schema has been assigned on, from a previous step. Now, if you're operating on the Database Explorer, you do get the ability to operate on the full catalog of objects you have based on the database user creation privileges. Let's focus on the view section because I have two views available from the Data Warehouse Cloud perspective, which are classified for consumption, like for exposure. And once you click on the view section, you know, we do have the different options, like the different ways to access the data. The Database Explorer schema is the schema relevant for data ingestion. Once you want to use the consumption part of the already deployed Data Warehouse Cloud models, you need to check also the data consumption part which is a different schema. Once you selected the different schema and we're still on the view section, you do see the Data Warehouse Cloud views already deployed, which are ready for consumption. So once you want to run some simple statements, like running a simple select star, you can reuse the models for sharing, and you do have the ability to operate on an SQL, like on an HANA SQL level, um, working on the data, creating your own stop procedures, um, like running some max on weight measure, 
And once you run that, of course, you know, you get access to the already configured data view, which gets access to some remote data sets to, to execute the coding query. You can mix and match. And of course, you can also create your own tables. Like if you want to run some HANA SQL statements, like create a column table with a partitioning class, as we're running on HANA SQL level, of course, you can create the table because we're running on a HANA Cloud database schema. Once you navigate on the table level, you do see um, the table you previously created. Of course, we're enabling the access for HANA SQL. And once you have a table created, you can also use an external tool, like a tool which is capable to connect to a HANA Cloud database schema, like an ETL tool, um, like Business Object Data Services, or further applications like SAP Data Intelligence to connect to the OpenSQL schema using the hostname, the port, the user, and the password. And they can push data into the structures of the table you're creating. So you do have the ability to integrate in, with existing tooling to push data or pull data from the OpenSQL schema, which at the very end gets you the ability to create your own SQL-based data warehouse system by reusing existing DDL or DML statements you probably are using in your HANA on-prem environment, or you need to migrate the non-HANA statements to become HANA SQL compatible, and you can come in and create the according DDL and DML statements, including stop procedures, um, to build up your data warehouse system, what you used to know from your non-SAP environment. Again, in terms of integration, um, I walked you through the steps to get access to the consumer models from a data warehouse cloud perspective, which becomes available to the database explorer. But of course, also if we use a table which has been created within the database explorer, you can now go back to data warehouse cloud and reuse the table from the data warehouse cloud graphical editor perspective. To do so, let's switch to the data builder. Drill down to the views and let's start a new graphical view. Let's focus on the source section. And as a quick reminder, we used to work on the SQL database explorer schema. And to do so, we, we used to create a table called sales items, which now becomes available for the graphical editors. Um, again, so this table has been created from the database explorer, like from the HANA SQL perspective. And once we load some data to the table, you would see also um, the, on the data preview, how the, the data populates in. But of course, you can leverage the capabilities of the graphical view builder to connect to the table created in the schema SQL database explorer. And you can come in and mix and match this with existing tables you probably have already available. Like this is focusing on sales, sales information, focusing on sales order ID and sales order item. So probably you're interested to run a quick join with data coming from a different environment. In this case, it's a view referring to a HANA database connection, like to a remote HANA database connection. And you can specify how the data should be joined and further processed. So again, the integration of the SAP Database Explorer provides you the ability to interact on a graphical UI using the SAP Database Explorer capabilities within the context of Data Warehouse Cloud. Thank you for watching.